hey guys it's phase one in this video we're going to cover my top six features we can expect in the upcoming star citizen alpha 3.17 if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe for more star citizen content and without any further ado let's get started number six fps weapons refactor procedure animation for weapon handling will appear more natural Weapon sway and recoil has been tweaked across all weapon types. This would allow our player characters to move their hands and weapons in a more aesthetically pleasing way. Some weapon recoil and behaviors have been adjusted as well. Some weapons will feel heavier and more punchier. Some weapon behaviors will change drastically like the Galant laser rifle, which will change from a full auto rifle to a three or a five round burst rifle. Number 5. Hunger and Thirst and Injury Palace Pass They will be updating the hunger and thirst rates to be a bit more aggressive. In 317, you will need to eat and drink more often. Movements such as sprinting, jumping, and punching, for example, will have an impact on the rate in which you become hungry or thirsty. The player health status has been overhauled to increase the likelihood of injuries occurring during repeated combat encounters and decrease the chance of instant death. They've now added a scaling percentage chance of triggering an injury when taking damage to a body part. Each time the body part is hit, it will be reassessed. To prevent these injuries from triggering too often, they've added a short cooldown as well. Bleeding has now been made less severe, giving us more time to apply our med pens or med guns. Number four, mining gadgets. Mining gadgets will be a game changer for solo miners. With the right gadget prospect, the pilots will now be able to attempt to fracture larger and more difficult rocks. Whether you want to reduce a rock's resistance or expand the fracture window, you'll find the right gadgets for the job. The risk is that you'll need to leave your ship when deploying the gadgets on the rock. Just another addition to the risk and reward factor to the mining career. Number three, ship positional desync. We could expect a better ship-to-ship -ship combat experience as they're adding network updates to reduce ship-to-ship -ship desync. This should improve ship-to-ship -ship combat and hopefully remove teleporting. Number two, items selling to shops. We've had looting and inventory added to the game, but now we'll have an opportunity to sell our loot back to shops. This is very big. Along with this, they're adding rarity and state to items and weapons. This means a pristine item or weapon will be more valuable to a shop than a damaged or used item. Also, some weapons and items have been removed from the shops and can only be found in loot boxes out in the verse. This will encourage players to explore more to find really interesting loot for profit. This will also open up things for player to player trading as you may not be able to obtain a high tier weapon unless you find someone whom is willing to trade it. Number 1. Ship to Ship Refueling Players who own Starfarers will now be able to fill up on hydrogen and quantum fuel at stations to refuel other ships in the verse for a price. This opens things up for more player interaction and a new career opportunity for those interested. This new mechanic involves a new docking procedure between the Starfarer and other ships and an interesting set of procedures and guidelines that a Starfarer operator needs to follow in order to successfully refuel its customers without damaging the other ship or its refueling arm. This will be vital for the upcoming Pyro Star system. And of course, the honorable mention is the ATC Keybind. CIG has finally added a keybind that will allow us to call the air traffic control when we approach stations. This is big. What features are you most excited for in Star Citizen Alpha 3.17? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one.